they, they start out they start out with hair pulling, rolling around the ring, just a brawl to start off this match. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Well, we, yeah, and, and you see, oh my gosh. Markova tried trying to get a little offense in and gets just Pearl Harbored in there. Right. Well, and yes. Actually, I, a hairline fracture of the jaw is what they originally thought. She has been, she's been working hard. She has been working hard to get back in this. Uh, we know that the last time these competitors were in the ring together, that knocked out Markova knocked out a couple of her teeth. Uh, it was incredibly physical. There's a two count, a kick out. These these competitors have come out just absolutely brawling. And right now what we're seeing is that Escobar is, is checking her nose, seeing if maybe there's blood coming out of that. Always, always, always physical. Absolutely, Tim. As we're going ahead and fixing some minor technical difficulties here in our new location here at Studio One. Big backstabber! Oh gosh. And La Brava getting a taste of redemption now. Yeah, you've got to think that, that, that everything that the Brava does is it's a little bit of a little bit of payback. Uh, you know, losing a tooth like that is something you don't forget very easily. It had been that long. And now sliding in for the knee. Just measuring those ribs, driving that knee home. Yeah, this is the type of action you can expect to see as part of our pay-per-view NWA 312. You can order it right now on Fight. As we are starting at the top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, with the best wrestling on God's green earth, wrestling as it's meant to be, just like this, from La Brava! And then she, I mean, that's, you can hear the entire arena explode with those, with those chops again. And that's, oh, and that's the thing with Markova. She's got to, she is physical. She can dish it out, but she's going to take it, too. She's not going to back down from anybody. Markova with the break. And a chop of her own. Well, I mean, stunned her. Oh, yeah. Markova, one of the toughest competitors we have in the NWA, male or female. Had one of the, oh, the beautiful disaster! And am I, the beautiful if, destruction, I should say, in the corner. Am I wrong, Joe? Is that not the actual that, move that knocked her teeth out? That is, that is the move right there, but La Brava, somehow, against all odds, on her feet. Going after the legs. Trying to chop down Markova. And that's a good move. That's a good strategy on her part. If you can take away those legs, if you can take away the strength of base. Ooh. Oh my God. Rising knee strike out of nowhere from Markova. Oh. oh, what a kick. Perfectly positioned scorpion kick to the face. A pump kick. And she can make a pin here. I I, she, oh, she, oh, she's grabbing the hair. Oh, she's locking I, that in. Look, for La Brava, this is so much more. She's got a combination oh, wow. of body scissors, kind of a sleeper hole. That arm is really, really low. Trying to wear down Markova. Markova, double tough, up to the feet with a jawbreaker. Forearm exchanges. Sucks the forearm. Ducks the leg. Oh my gosh! What a kick! Jazz yeah. Stinger planting her on that face! Is that gonna do it? Kick out! La Brava showing an enormous amount of fight in this match. I mean, there you see CJ on the outside. Gotta wonder what Magic Jake must think about CJ coming out here. Oh, what a knee strike! My gosh! I kick out again! La Brava! Showing tenacity, showing grit. Marco Digging down deep. Markovic almost shocked that she didn't that she was able to kick out of that. She had actually made the pin and kind of posed for the camera. She knew that it was over and she was wrong. Yeah. Oh, in there. Oh, another rising knee strike this time from LaBrava. 
Step up Enziguri in the corner. She's got her hooked. Marco, yeah, fighting out of that. Yeah. Just pure strength there, those back to those strikes. Hooks her. Double arm. Oh, the DDT! Absolutely plants La Brava Escobar. And here comes C CJ. What are you doing in there? She's just presenting. She's showing everybody. She's supposed to be Magic Jake's lovely assistant. And I don't know what she's doing out here with La Brava. Is she, with, is she out here with La Brava? I, I don't know, but La Brava! German suplex! Dump Marcola on her head! Is La Brava gonna steal it? Oh, Marcola! Man, I takes thought she it had out. it. I thought she had it there. And yet, CJ still with the spot. Is CJ working with Natalia? I, I don't know what's CJ's going working on. With CJ. I don't know. It's... Brava. Back in Markova into the corner. Sidestep by Markova. Oh, there it is! The beautiful destruction connected right with all of it! Oh, she had to re... And there it is! You could have counted to ten. The winner of this match, the crush, Natalia Markova! What a way to start off this pre-show here. With NWA 312 less than one hour away, Natalia Markova gets a major victory. And what's the, and still CJ smiling ear to ear. I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. It's, it is. I have no idea, but somehow CJ sees the magic in every match. Is that, is that it? Yeah. Is, it, is it there? I don't know. This? I don't know. She's definitely, she's proud of what it, whatever. I, I guess she's always proud of what's happening here in the NWA. Hey, it's Joe Galley. It's Tim Storm. Unfortunately, Velvet Sky, she won't be joining us for this broadcast or for the pay-per-view. Had a minor family emergency, so we're thinking about you, Velvet. And it's Velvet time all the time, everywhere. And we'll see you when you can come back, of course. And, but we have a huge show for you, not only for this free uh, pre-show, but also for the pay-per-view. That's why you got to order on Fight TV now. You do not want to miss it. All of the championships that are going to be online, all Amazing the excitement's going to be happening, and all of the crazy stuff. You know there's always surprises when yep. it comes to the National Wrestling Alliance and our pay-per-views. This is an exciting evening. I know, and, and, and we've seen the car. We've seen the matches. T t title shots. Mm -hmm. We've got cash-ins. We've got everything going on. If, if you don't want to miss this pay-per-view, you don't ever want to miss an NWA pay-per-view. But this one, this one's going to be special. Yeah, talk about title shots here. EC3 looking to control his own nar narrative, taking on Scion for the National Heavyweight Championship. You know Austin Idol's going to have a plan. Oh, yeah. But also EC3 with that conjunction, that that that... That partnership with Church's Money, you know there's going to be a surprise there as well. NWA World Women's Tag Team Championship match. Missa Kate and Maddie defending against pretty empowered Roxy and Ella Envy. That team holding on to the championship for just one minute yeah. and 47 <laughs> seconds before the cash-in by Missa Kate and Maddie. Incredible. Oh, this is going to be something. Yabo the Clown. I, I don't know what to say. I that just, guy was walking around here. It scared the bejesus out of me, but he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most feared Kratos. All that and much more right here on NWA 312. Thank you so much for joining us around the world for our free pre-show. It is a jam-packed pay-per-view, but we got to get to some more matches for you right now. The following tag team match is one fall with a 15-minute time limit. This for the NWA the United States Tag Team Championships. It's Lucy first the challenge. Accompanied by Chris Silvio Esquire, this is the team of Bulletproof Troop, the Jade Event Jack Stain. They are the Savages! This is real gift, I really think, to the, the NWA audience. This could have been on the pay-per-view, but folks, you're getting it for free on YouTube. This could be a main event anywhere in the world. The Savages, led by Chris Silvio Esquire. We are the Jade Event, Jack Stain. And Blake Bulletproof Troop, this is a dangerous duo. Uh, these guys have been, and every, every match they've had has been solid. They've almost dominated opponents. Uh, they are, they are important to be recognized. Champions. 
Series for 66 days, beating the Fixers at our first ever live power event in Knoxville. And you'd have to think in Knoxville, there definitely was that home field advantage for A.J. Kazana and the thoroughbred Anthony Andrews. They don't have it here in Chicago, and they're getting jump-started by Jack Stane and Blake Troop. And that is not how you want to start with these two big monsters. Big monsters. Oh my gosh, Santa came down hard on the concrete floor, and it is a two-on-one assault on the thoroughbred Anthony Andrews. And Jack Stane perhaps going to win his partner to get to Anthony Andrews on that. He couldn't wait to get his boots on hands, but he couldn't wait to get his boots on the face. Of Anthony's on that one. And the bell is rung. This match has officially started. And, you know, the jump start, effort, obviously playing mind games. AJ Kazan wanted to get back in that ring and gets. If it's your first time watching some programming here with the NWA, Jack Stane is a monster of a man. Well north of 300 pounds, six foot five, and here comes bulletproof Blake True, accomplished mixed martial artist, making the transition into the sport of professional wrestling. And he has made that transition better than most that I've seen in one over 27 years. He's able to to, trans, to transition between submission moves, kicks, strikes, and more of a professional wrestling. Yeah, but every once in a while, you do see he does run into some problems here. He's got to be able to listen to that referee. When it comes to counts in the corner, rope breaks and things like that, is Anthony Andrews, I mean, he has just been depleted and demoralized, beat down by the savages. Snap. Follows that up. Oh, well, he's got the arm. Looking for a wrist lock, perhaps transitioning to the right. He's looking for the Kimura. He's looking for the Kimura. Still targeting the arm. Oh, look at that, he's trying, he's trying to go for the triangle. He's going for the triangle. He's trying to take him out. Anthony Andrews had incredible ring awareness, got his foot to the bottom rope for the break. Tag. He, he was in trouble if he did. I mean, if you get that, you get that locked in, there ain't nobody. Jack Stane has won almost every championship you can win here in the National yes, Wrestling has. Alliance, with the exception of the United States Tag Team Championships. Former world champion, former world tag team champion, former national champion. This guy collects wins. Uh, I mean, he, is, he has done everything there is to do in the NWA except these championships, and I know that he's got his, his focus clearly on those. I mean, he went as far as to call these guys cosplay cowboys, and I know they didn't appreciate that. He made it clear he was coming after them. They, Jack Stane was, you know, he was living up to that name, being absolutely yeah. savage on social media. Yes, Anthony Andrews finally gets up right here, comes the tag. Here comes Kazana, third generation wrestler. And that shows you why Jack Oh, he got booted. And now Jack Stane on the attack, choking the life out of Kazana on that middle rope. He felt the momentum change and he bailed. Used the full count to his advantage. Jack Stane, oh, goes after and completely obliterates Anthony Andrews, who came down hard right here in Studio One in Highland Park. Well, and Kazana was close to making that tag, and, and Jack Stane made sure that that wouldn't happen. He launched him off the ring apron. You see Chris Silvio Esquire, the manager for the Savages. Jack Stane just picking Kazana apart. Elbow, knee, ankle. Who's your guys? Come on, AJ. Who's your guys? Who's your guys? The Savages came in with really a picture perfect game plan yeah. at this point. Yeah. Oh, they jumped on them early and they hadn't let them up since then. They just keep the foot on the accelerator. You have to think that it's not only the managerial experience that you see from Chris Silvio Esquire, but just Jack Stane and his years and years in the ring. They knew that they had to go in and try to win these belts, and I, I'm not going to be surprised if they walk away from them. No, no, I don't think I don't think at this point it would be surprising to anybody. But you know that Kazan and Andrews, the country gentlemen, are not going to let that happen. If they can do anything about it, that's what we're going to see. They will. They'll do whatever they have to do. 
Yeah, this title is so prestigious in the National Wrestling Alliance. They've been with so many different organizations in the NWA starting in the early 50s. Midwest Wrestling Association and transforming with different companies. But think of all the incredible tag teams that have held on to the United States Tag Team Championships. The Midnight Express, the Steiner Brothers, the Fabulous Reapers, the Fantastics, the Young Pistols. Dr. Death, Steve Williams, and Kevin Sullivan. The list goes on and on of the incredible men. Hold on to those United States Tag Team titles. Jack Kane, Blake Troop, trying to add their name to that list. Tag is made. And here, man. Knee to the face. Cutting off. And once again, folks, it's action just like this that you can find on Fight TV. That's why you got to order the now. Right now, fight.tv. Got a smart TV, you can get the Fight app right on there and watch the pay per right on your smart TV, folks. This, hey, he may have him here. He may have him. Into the cover. Come on, Jax. Get out of here. Oh, double leg takedown. And AJ Kazana has had enough. I don't, I, I mean, even as a champion, I don't know if that's a good move. I don't know if you want to get toe to toe with Jack Stane on the outside. Oh. Speaking of on the outside. Oh, a submission, you have it? submission, you have he's looking for the arm bar. In? He's looking for the cross arm bar. If he can get that arm extended, it's, it's gonna be over. He's saying, oh, there it is, the extension. The extension, he's gonna snap that arm. He's gonna snap that on the ropes. Yeah, he made it, he made it. He got it to the ropes again. Again, the, the great ring awareness there yeah, that by Anthony man. Andrews, but the damage yeah, may have all been done. It only man. takes a fraction of a second to do incredible damage with a cross arm breaker. Yeah, he made it. Wait a minute, who's trying? Was that a boot? Lake Troop was unable to make the grab of what I, I'm assuming is a loaded boot. He's been ejected. Silvio's been ejected. Anthony Andrews, schoolboy. Shoulders are down. He's got all of his weight on it. And he gets it. No winners of this match. And still, everywhere you United States Tag Team Champions, the country gentlemen. Defense here for the country, gentlemen. That was their biggest test to date for sure. Going up against a former world champion and an incredible mixed martial artist in the Savages. But they are going to be leaving Chicago with the gold in yes, their hands. Yes, man. That was a that was a huge win for our tag champions against that team. Not just credible, but a, but an awesome, amazing tag team. This just going to keep making waves. That's right, folks, if you want to see more incredible tag team action, we'll have that on our pay-per-view. But first, I'm hearing Mae Valentine is backstage with Kenzie Page. Hey, everyone, Mae Valentine here, and I'm so pleased to welcome you to NWA 312. We're live from Highland Park in Chicago, Illinois, and besides having one hell of a card, we're also raising money for a very important cause, as tonight's show will benefit the Highland Park Community Foundation. And joining me at this time is Kenzie Page and Kylie Page. Kenzie, you have the chance to make history tonight, as you could walk out of here as the first NWA Women's Television Champion. How do you feel going into this match with an opponent as imposing as Max the Impaler? All right, May, let me just clear some things up for everybody here. Max the Impaler, you do not intimidate me. You impulse me. Ugh. That's disgusting if you didn't know what that meant. And you know what, May? I'm gonna give it to you right here, right now. You are correct for the first time in your life. I am going to make history. I am going to the wasteland and I'm gonna clean it up. And I'm gonna come out the first ever NWA World Women's Television Champion. Capiche? Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck, Kenzie. Thank you so much. For one of the largest selections of Mercedes-Benz vehicles in Chicagoland, visit Auto House on Edens. Come in now and discover our all-new, all-electric lineup, including the EQS sedan, EQS SUV, the EQB, and the EQE. In stock now at Auto House on Edens. Auto House on Edens, proudly serving the North Shore with outstanding Mercedes-Benz selection and service for over 60 years. Visit Auto House on Edens in Northbrook or at AutoHouseOnEdens.com.
Yeah, and I want another give another big shout out to Auto House on Evens, one of our major sponsors here, and all of the money that their sponsorship is going into this program is actually going immediately back to the Highland Park Community right. Foundation, and that is such an important foundation after yeah. the tragedy that we saw last year here in Highland Park. It's really helping a lot of those families that are dealing, like going with so much. Yeah. But I think more importantly than that is we're bringing some levity, we're bringing some joy, we're bringing life back into this community with NWA wrestling, and that's why we're here. Right? Yeah, I mean it's. We want to give back to the community. Our, our, our owner knows, you know, knows this community well. And for such a tragedy to happen, if there's anything that, that we, the NWA, can do to bring anything back to that, that's why we're here. That's exactly why we're here. We're also here to bring you wrestling as it's meant to be, the best wrestling on God's green earth. And take a look at this, folks. We have a 20-man battle royal, the Bob Luce Memorial Battle Royal. If you're from Chicago and you're a wrestling fan, you know a lot about Bob Luce. We'll get into that in a little while. But I'll tell you, the winner of that match is going to be the number one contender for the national championship. But we already heard from Kenzie Page, our NWA Women's Television Championship match. The first ever will be crowned here tonight on the pay-per-view. But up next, it's a hair versus mask strap match. Sal the Pal versus Gag. The gift. What has happened with the miserably faithful? The following match, the following match is one ball with a 15 minute time limit and is a hair versus mask strap match. The loser of this match will either lose their mask or lose their hair. Introducing a company by Jude Dias, Sal the Pal, and Dax the Gift. I think what's super important to note right here is the absence of Father James Mitchell. Father James Mitchell is so focused on Max and Taylor and Max's match against Kenzie Page for the first ever Women's Television Championship. And there you see Judas. Apparently, he's he's here to make sure that this match happens. The original hair versus mask match was on a recent episode of NWA Power, ended in a double countout, and you see an awful lot of trepidation there. From Gags the Gimp, he does not want to participate in this match. No, Gags didn't even want to come through the curtain. You can see Judas pulling him out, forcing him through that curtain. Obviously, there have been some major problems. Judas is safe. Oh, 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 my God! It's over! It. The That's mask it. comes off! That's the it. mask comes off! Oh, my gosh! I thought this was going to be the shortest strap match in the history of wrestling right there Start. after that devastating super kick on Gags the Gimp. Well, and as far as strategy no, goes, no, no. That's, come on, that's, Sal. That's, that's you used that's to be your best great. friend, Sal. Don't do it. What do you think, it's Sal? No. Oh, oh my God, the strap! Yes. More. That is a two-inch wide leather strap, ladies and gentlemen. But, but it's Gags the Kim. He yeah, it's, he's saying, well, give me another one. Well, we, we know how much Gags loves pain. I mean, he got another oh, one. My gosh. I think. I think perhaps the, oh, he wants more. What is that? He's in position for more. The Gimp demanding pain. Pain is his pleasure. Oh, kicked out the hand. Targeting the elbow. No, we've seen some Sal. The stomps. Just driving him into the mat. And again, you know, Father James Mitchell was the one who set up this match. Trying to manipulate the own members of his team into the cover. Well, and just to clarify, <laughs> if, if, if Sal the Pal loses this match, he loses his hair. He loses his hair. If Gags the Gimp loses this match, he loses the mask. And we don't even know what, what Gags the Gimp looks like. It's yeah, a complete it's... mystery. I don't know if he's deformed. I don't know what's under the mask. I honestly don't even know why the reason for wearing the mask other than just being Gags the Gimp. And I think that's, that's the just only like his whole identity yeah. without the mask. It, it's almost like a luchador. Well, and we've seen these guys, and both of them have struggled. Father James Mitchell's attention and love, but it seems like that, that, that has become more important to Sal. Next Kemp now using the ropes. Kevin Keenan not administering a count. This is a strap match. You can only make suggestions to, for the physical benefit. Oh, but where's the, where's the, oh, Sal, they've got that strap. That strap must be 20 yeah, feet looking, long. But they've got it between oh, no, that no, no. Tug of war between these two. It used to be almost brothers, but yeah. now. Well, and I hate to state. Oh, oh and Sal went face first into the steel. 
Sal might be losing his hair. Now G Gags is going to make sure that he feels that. Rolls him back in the ring. <laughs> oh, he's oh, he wants he's to leave. Leaving. He wants to leave. Yeah, he, it's, it's almost... you know, he knows how much Sal's hair means to him. And, and there's that part of Gags that must still love Sal deeply. He goes off the ropes. Oh, and crotch first into the middle rope. It's, it's almost like Judas is, is almost like playing the role of the, of the enforcer here. You know, he, he's, he, he's going to make sure that this match happens. The gags can't leave. The Sal, nothing he's tried, but Sal can't leave. There's going to be, it's, I mean, there's no DQ, yeah. apparently. So there's not going to be, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose. Oh, my God. These two former friends. Sal, you're here. Oh, in the oh. face. He just whipped him in the face with a leather strap. Now he's choking him. My God, choking the life out of Gags the Gimp. Yeah, the ref, all the ref can do, Come on, all Sal. the ref can do is say, stop choking him. He can't count. Make Father Hatton and hit him. Judas barking order saying, make Father happy and hit him. Now he's all wrapped, oh, he's wrapped up. He's wrapped up in the strap. Let's go on it. And Oh, he could, he, could he could choke him out. He could choke him out right here. We've seen Sal from the beginning. It's almost like he, he had his, his identity is with the father. And if he could get Father James Mitchell to love him any way possible, that's obviously what he's going to do because he's done everything he could think of. Ooh, a big chop to the chest on the outside. Once again, folks, no count out, no disqualification in this hair versus mask strap match. Pins the oh. arms. He's got him wrapped up. He's got him wrapped up in the apron. Oh, no, he's got the strap again. Oh, and again, right in front of the crowd here. As Gags the Gimp gets rolled into the ring. I don't know, it's not the way, I mean, Gags is almost out of his feet. I mean, he is great. Comes through with a 6-1-9. Sal the Pal now into the cover, and kick out by Gags. Sal's yelling this, three, he felt like he had it this, this feels like the ultimate loyalty test. I mean, we've seen them time and time again from Father James Mitchell, but this is the... Oh, and now the, the, he's pulling down the shirt. He's pulling down that shirt, exposing the skin of Gags the Gimp. I thought for a second... Oh, my God! I thought for a second it was going to be very uh, a hockey fight. He was going to pull that jersey up over his head. And you know that the, the folks in the Chicago area could definitely appreciate that, but... He completely stripped that off, and he has taken that leather strap and just oh burying him out. Oh, my gosh. It's merciless. Oh, it's an absolute merciless beatdown from Sal the Pal. Well, and on that, on that last shot, it, it literally wrapped around his head. Yeah, it looked like it might have yeah, caught Gags in the eye. Yeah. Oh, that caught him in the face for sure. Sal, Baseball hard. slide drop kick. Usually it, it could be over. Gags could be Extra out. Set. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's from the start with that big super kick. Sal has kind of ruled this match. Has kind of taken the momentum away. I, I, I'm it looks like Gags is losing that match. I'm with that mask tonight. I, I, I don't know what he's going to be able to do to try to turn the tide in this match. Sal the Pound now perhaps pulled by the horn, so to speak. His backs Gags into that corner. There's no way for it to come off of the strap. Oh, and a face! Into the face! Gags the Gimp showing signs of life. And Gags the Gimp now on the offensive. Got him by the nose, pulling him out. The headbutt, the horns. As Gags the Gimp now has the strap in hand. Gags, I mean, no, he doesn't want to oh, do it. Oh, man, he had a chance for payback there. He was conflicted. There. He didn't want to hit his friend. He's looking for the finish. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I don't think we've ever seen that reverse no, like no, that. It, Sal had it scouted, and it, of course he's going to have it scouted. Sal and Powell trying to get more leather strap available in his hand. There it is. Oh my God, to the exposed back, and you can see the marks, the welts starting to build on the back of Gags the Gimp, my God. He is just 
wearing him he out. He is getting lit up. You know, G Gags had an opportunity there. I mean, he had an opportunity to, to put a little damage himself, and he, and he didn't do it. I, th I think that no. is a mistake. No. Oh, and now stuck in that tree of woe. Gags trying to fight his way up, but no, no, no. Oh, right in the chest. My God, he's going to try to take his nipples off with the strap. Sadistic, Sal the Pal, my God, he was your friend. He was your brother. How could you do this? Man, that is vicious. Screaming that father was wrong. He caught him. He caught him. Once again, was going for the finish. Wrapped up the leg. He wrapped up the leg. Oh. He tripped him up. Going for that super kick again. The strap wrapped around the ankle. Stops it. Okay, here's his he chance. Oh. There it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Sal the pal trying to fight back, and he does. And the chaos continues in this match as Sal the Pal springs oh, the strap. Caught him and whipped him in midair. Oh my god! Ow! Ow! Look at the back of the of Gags the Gimp! Man, Sal's just gonna be looking like that in just a few seconds when those welts start rising. Now there comes a point when oh, oh wait a minute. Judas again at this point stopping Sal the Pal from escaping. Oh, and the leather strap to the gut, to the back. You can see it ripple across the screen. Oh. There it is! The gag's reflex! The gag's reflex! Oh, I thought he myself. had him. I thought he had him. That version of a reverse DDT. We've seen gags to get win matches with it. But somehow, Sal the Powell was able to dig down deep and kick out. Oh, no, here it comes. The zipper's open. Here comes the tongue. The tongue is out. The tongue is out. It could be the end for Sal and Sal's hair. What's he going to do? Oh, he's biting his tongue. My God, he's biting his tongue. I've never seen anything like this. He's trying to rip his tongue straight out of his mouth. Grotesque. Oh, oh my God. God. Turned him inside out. That's it. I the mask it, is I, coming I, off. The yeah, mask is coming it. off. Oh, my God, kick out. Wow. Wait a minute, Judas. He's got that bag. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. No, but he seems like he's threatening he's with it. I don't. I... Sal the pal. He said you. Oh, oh my God! Bags the gift using the strap. Low blow, completely legal. Oh, he's wrapped him up. He's wrapped him up with the strap. Here it is. The finish. The finish. You got it. 100%. My God, Sal. He's losing his hair. Yeah. The winner of this match is Daz the Gimp. And as per stipulation, Salvano will be losing his hair. Oh look at Gags. No. Look at Gags, though. He doesn't want this. No, he's saying no, don't do it. He doesn't want this, but in comes Judas. But he's saying no. He, he doesn't well, want. He doesn't now, want his now friends. Now I figured out what's in the bag. It must be clip. Yeah, it's clippers. They've got the hair clippers. Well, Gags is begging that they not do this. Gags doesn't want to do this. He's still, he's still friends with Sal the Palace, perhaps his only friend, his best friend in this world. Take his hair. Hey, that was the that was the stipulation of the match. You have to do it. Do you do this to your friend? Oh my God! There he's shaving is. him. There it is. Did he want this? I don't. This the Mohawk's already gone. Finish is saying no, he's not going to finish. But Sal, Sal's going to do it himself. My God, Sal is psychotic. He's oh just gosh. ripping his hair out of this point. Oh my gosh. We knew he wasn't right. He is shaving his own head. And Gags is picking it up, he doesn't. Make father happy on your knees. What? Show your obedience on your knees. Make father happy. Kiss my boots. Ah, there we go. Okay. We've father seen this before. Wills it. Kiss my boots. We know they'll do it. It's 
that's what they've done from the beginning. That's what they've done from the beginning. He's, he has gotten them completely obedient. What are they doing? They're disobeying Judas. They're that is disobeying good. Father James Mitchell. What does this mean for the miserably faithful? Father will not be happy. All right, folks, we got to keep things moving along. May Valentine is backstage with Bully Ray. Please welcome Bully Ray. Bully, tonight on NWA 312, you face the television champion, Tom Latimer. And while you have been on a winning streak, tonight you actually face a very determined opponent. May a winning streak? I'm undefeated in the NWA. Not quite sure why this is not for the TV championship, but it really doesn't matter. Because I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to do what Bully Ray does best. And anybody watching right now knows what that is. Thomas Latimer. Tom, I've known you for a long time. You're a good dude. You're a man's man. And you're a credit to the NWA and the NWA TV Championship. Lots of positives about you, Tom. You have so much potential. But how many times have you heard that in your entire life? Potential that you had in the ring, out of the ring, you see, my job is to know everybody's strengths and everybody's weaknesses. I've been doing this for 30 years. I know your weakness, Tom. I know your number one weakness. And I know that you know your number one weakness. Tom. Your weakness is you. Your weakness is at any moment in that ring, you can explode. Not explode in a good way. Explode where your mind gets the best of you. It's gotten the best of you in the past. It's got the best of you so much that you're not the world heavyweight champion. Don't think I don't try to exploit you out there tonight. Don't think I don't try to take advantage of your weaknesses. It'll be a good match. It'll be a good fight. It'll be whatever I need it to be or I want it to be. Just remember, kid, you got a giant button and I know how to push it. Do you know who I am? Of course you do. Wow, what a statement by Bully Ray. There is a chance that that matchup yeah. right there could steal the show, and that is saying something here on NWA 312. That is just one of the incredible matches that we are having tonight here in Chicago, in Highland Park, in Studio One, in front of these great fans here in Chicago that have filled up Studio One. That's why you want to watch this pay-per-view. That's why you got to pre-order it right now on Fight, because not only are we having Bully Ray versus Tom Latimer, but other incredible matches as well, matches that could be main event anywhere and we are having so much there but not only that major announcement get ready folks you're gonna want to tweet this out mark your calendars June 3rd and 4th the Crockett Cup returns ladies and gentlemen Winston-Salem North Carolina will have all the information on tickets very very soon but mark your calendars June 3rd and 4th we'll have that of course broadcasting on fight just like NWA 312 and one of the matches that I'm really excited for is NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship match Kerry Morton versus Joe Alonzo there's going to be a lot of friction. There's been friction on social media between these two for a long time. And then once again, Tom Latimer taking on Bully Ray. TV title isn't on the line, but you know Bully Ray is going to be coming with everything that he's got. Can he find that button and push it? But next up, we've got the newly formed team of Daisy Kill and the monstrous seven-footer Talos taking on Knox and Murdoch. Let's go. The following crunch tag team match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of Daisy Kill and the giant Talos. Ah! Daisy Kill has made it incredibly clear here.
this musical interviews that he is gunning for Trevor Murdoch, and he's looking to put him, quote, out to pasture, back behind the barn. And boy, oh boy, did he bring a weapon to do it with Talos. That is a large, large man. What, seven foot, seven foot two? 350 pounds, steps over the top rope like it's nothing. Casey Kill, an incredible athlete, sizable man in his own right, but Talos just towers over everyone. Look how much taller he is than Jared Fritz. Well, I'll say this, there are some tag teams that when you see them and hear the music play that you just feel it. And when they step through the curtain, I felt it. These guys are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Especially when we start looking at the fact that with that major announcement we made just a few oh, moments yeah. ago, the yeah. Crockett Cup, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most prestigious tag team tournaments on earth. Absolutely. It's coming back June 3rd and 4th. <laughs> Bell is rung and here we go. And Trevor Murdoch has been chomping at the bit to get his hands on Daisy Kill, brutal beat down between him and Talos. Mike Knox coming in for the save. It's setting up this match here on the NWA 3-1-2 pre-show. Well, when you go to, when you go to, when you fight somebody like Murdoch and Knox did with each other, you build up sometimes a hatred and sometimes you build up a bond and I think that's what these guys did. I think they know what the other guy can bring, they know how good they are, they know how vicious they can be. Hey, let's, if we tag up, then we're gonna we're gonna be almost unstoppable. Back up on the face. And put up the boot, my God! Came out of nowhere, took down Daisy Kill. Everything that Trevor Murdoch does. Oh, the corner. Oh, Just Daisy like Kill that. caught him. Oh my God! What a spine buster! Oh my. Whoa. Oh, and I'll tell you, sitting right here, that when he hit that. I looked over at Knox, and Knox's eyes lit up like it was Christmas. He saw something he liked, and he wants to be a part of that. Converted uh, atomic drop. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Daisy Kill is just getting covered. He, I, mean, I tell you what, he if, Talos may never make it in the ring. Daisy Kill may not survive this. He's got two incredible veteran athletes yep. and former world's heavyweight champion and Mike Knox who is a force to be reckoned with. We first saw him back at by any means necessary yes, in 2021 by attacking Trevor Murdoch in a steel cage. Yeah, he came out of the out of the crowd, came out of nowhere and uh, Trevor Murdoch our champion at the time just I mean destroyed him with a chair. Oh, what a job, my goodness. Wow. I see this becoming a competition between <laughs> Knox and Murdoch. Who can, who can cause the most damage? Because that's what they're doing right now. Another big chop from Mike Knox. And Daisy Kill is being decimated by Murdoch and Knox. He's got to get out of that corner. He's got, he's got to fight out of that corner. Fighting with everything they got, but he got caught. Big suplex by Mike Knox. Da Daisy Kill is begging for that tag right now, and if they, if they keep him isolated like that, man. Yeah. I mean, Talos has an incredible wingspan. He's got to reach his arm as far out as he can to try to make that tag as Knox comes in all of his weight, that middle rope. He is, a, I mean, it, there, there are, there are a ton of real, real. Oh, what is this? What is this? The leg drop! Oh my God! Oh! 
There, there are a ton of big physical competitors in the NWA, but you know Mike Knox and Trevor Murdoch are, are, are two guys that that you would just see as successful in a bar fight, a street fight, as you would in the ring. Former world champion Trevor Murdoch. A reversal by Daisy. Eats the boot. Wait a minute. Oh my god, the distraction! The distraction from Daisy Kill. Open the door for Talos, that monster of a man. And that was desperation. Tag. He had to do that. He had to. So Daisy Kill was holding on to the leg, trying to prevent Trevor Murdoch from getting to his feet. Talos now on the attack into the neutral corner, sending the former world champion. Big oh man, splash moving, in the moving. Wow. Trevor Murdoch is a large man. He is an incredible athlete, and Talos is a foot taller. Well, and he just powered him. Wow, out look the at corner. the strength. Walked Trevor around Murdoch. the ring with him and wow. slung him like he weighed nothing. Trevor Murdoch is well north of 300 pounds, and this Talos showing incredible strength. Dragging Trevor Murdoch and tag is made into Daisy Kill. I mean, I don't know if Daisy Kill had enough time to yeah, really I'm not, recover there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, Mike Knox reached for that tag. I think, though, that at, at this point, I think Daisy Kill is... is I think oh, his, into the cover, shoulders are down, kick out by Trevor. Yeah, his, his need to get a little payback, a little revenge on the on, on Trevor Murdoch, maybe overcame his uh, common sense there by Tag. tagging in. In comes the giant Talos. And we saw this earlier. Yeah, looking for another big splash. Oh, but he runs into the boot. Murdoch showing signs of life. Oh, Talos with shoulder first into the steel post. I'm impressed that, that Trevor could get his boot up that high. That Trevor a, that stumbles into man. the tag, but in comes Daisy Kill. Boot to the face. Wow. You might not want to do that. Daisy Kill, not the legal man, coming into the matchup. It's sent into the buckle. Towering back body drop. And that is a long way to fall. Knox, oh, with a crossbody. Talos now taken to the outside. Daisy Kill isolated. I'm going to say that, but that crossbody is the most devastating crossbody in the We hear Jared Fritz initiating the count. Talos being the legal man. Tag is made. Well, Trevor Murdoch. Well, perhaps they're setting up for something big here. Oh, no, no, no. Setting up Daisy Kill. Oh my God, the clothesline and powerbomb combination. In comes Talos. Talos, the legal man for the team with a double clothesline, my God. An impressive specimen to say the least. And uh, just, Talos. The, just the fact that he could take two guys that size off, his, off their feet. Impressive. Scooping a slam from Talos. Coming off the ropes. Misses wildly with that elbow drop. Now, oh, Talos. Talos, I don't think he realizes the danger that he's in right now. Sized up by Trevor Murdoch and by Mike Knox. High low yeah, combination. High low. Into the cover. Shoulders are down. There it is. Win. The winners of this match, Knox and Murdoch. Exactly what you want. If you are a tag team in the National Wrestling Alliance, you want a big win in front of a fired up crowd as we get closer yep. to the Crockett Cup. That is going to send a message. You know that team wants to be in it. They want to be there. They want to win it. And if any team can do it, the team of Trevor Murdoch and Mike Knox, my gosh, they'd have to be a favorite. They just sent a message to everybody in the NWA for every tag team. Here we are. We're coming to get those done. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I mean, the Crockett Cup is the prestigious tag tournament in wrestling history. All right, folks, here it is. We are so close, just minutes away. I'm looking at my watch. We're just a few moments away from going live on Fight TV for what promises to be the biggest pay-per-view in NWA history. We have come to Chicago right here, Highland Park. Big matches like this one. La Rebellion taking on the team of Magnum Muscle. Deck Draper cashing in the Champion Series title shot. 
They could walk out here with the gold heading into the Crockett Cup, but you have to watch the pay-per-view to find out. Our NWA World Women's Championship match, La Rosa Negra cashing in her Champion Series title shot, taking on the Brick House Camille, who's held onto that championship for 657 days. Will this be the last day? You can only find out on Fight. And this, our main event, the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship match. Chris Adonis, once again, another competitor cashing in the Champion Series title shot. He's going up against the Manster, Tyrus, for the championship. Oh, the 10 battle. pounds of gold, or as Tyrus likes to call it, the 12 pounds of gold. Because this is here, this is the NWA, this is wrestling as it's meant to be. That's why you need to go to Fight TV right now right and now. order that pay-per-view, because it is going to be absolutely spectacular. For Tim Storm, I'm Joe Galley. We are going to see you live on Fight. Hey, buy it now. <laughs>